Hello again, everyone. I am Mark Thompson and you're watching Watermark Data. These are the Alteryx tutorials. Today's session is going to be something a little different. We're not going to be doing a weekly challenge. We're going to be doing a question from the crowd. And somebody asked me about executing bat files or executing command lines from a work process flow. A little bit more advanced topic, certainly not something you'd typically jump into, but let's go ahead and give it a look. I'm going to use a process flow from the other day. Nothing special about this. It is a CSV and I'm exporting it to a spreadsheet. I hit run. It simply reads that and it sends it out to the spreadsheet. I can click on the canvas down here and I can click on my spreadsheet and it'll open up Excel and it'll open up the file. Easy enough. What if, however, we wanted to run this process flow and have Excel automatically open up? To do that, let's go over here. Instead of being on a tool, we're going to be clicking on the canvas. That's this white space in here. And we're going to go over to events. And we're going to enable, a, make sure they're enabled. And we're going to add run command. Now, when you first open this up, it's going to default to disabled, but there are other choices. It can, you can run before. So before you run the Alteryx process flow, after you run the process flow, after you run it with errors, or only run it after if you don't have errors. And then of course, disabled. We're going to be looking at running it after. And you can do this directly in a command line, and I'm going to cheat because I already pulled these up. We're going to be launching Excel. So find out where you have Excel, and you go ahead, and that's the command line you put in here. Command arguments, I want to open up this particular spreadsheet. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to copy that and put that in this command line and I'm going to tell it OK. Now, as you see, we now had a, have an event here and let's go ahead and hit run and notice that Excel automatically goes ahead and opens up after we run our process flow. The other way that you can do this, and let's go back to this, and I'm going to go back to events, and I'm going to edit this. And instead of doing this with a command line, I'm going to have a bat file that I've already put together. And in this case, I'm going to say open Excel bat. And that bat file opens up this same one. It's a very simple one line bat file. So I click on that. And now I'm still going to run it after, but now I'm going to be executing a bat file. So I tell it OK. And you can see after run, run open Excel.bat. That was my name. Let's be clear. And I run this. And again, it goes ahead and opens up Excel and opens up my file because I have the commands already in the bat file. Let's say you wanted to do something different. Let's say you wanted to run two things afterwards. Let's go ahead and add another one. And we're going to run this after also. And let's say I want to open up Anaconda Navigator. So I go ahead and hit open and I tell it OK. Let's open up the Excel first and then that. Now let's go ahead and hit run. And it's opening up Excel. And you can see it's also now opening up Navigator. And it's down here, but Navigator is now open if that was what you wanted to do. These are simple bad files. You can put in, and I'm not going to get into teaching about bat files, but you can put whatever you want in a bat file that will execute. You can go ahead and put in a bat file. Now, one last one. 
And that is, I'm also going to, and I'm going to get rid of the navigator. I'm going to get rid of the anaconda. And I just come over here and I hit delete. And I'm going to add one more. And I'm going to add one more bat file. And that's going to say, delete nothing in it word file bat. And I'm going to run this one before. And what I want to show you is I've got a folder over here. I'll drag it onto the screen. These are where my bats are. And notice that I've got a word file in here that says word file with nothing in it. It's literally a file with nothing in it. Nothing special about that. You see it's in this directory, execute bat files. Now, this one, I'm going to move it up and it will run before my process flow even runs. So I go ahead and hit run. It goes ahead and opens up Excel just like before. But now I'm going to drag this out onto the screen and notice that my file with nothing in it is now gone. Okay. Oh, you know what? Here, get rid of those nasty red lines. I had already had Excel open. It didn't like to try and open it when it was already open. So here you have it. Go ahead and you can use events and you can add. That's how you do a bat file or a command line either before or after you do a process run. Hope this has been informative. I'm Mark Thompson. This is Watermark Data. If you like this, please share it. Please hit like. Please make any kind of comments and let me know what you thought. Till next time.